today we're going to be making a super simple tote bag. This is a quick, easy project that's great for new sewers. To make this project, you need fabric for the inside and the outside of the bag. I have a rectangle of fabric for the exterior of the bag, which is 12 by 22 inches, and then a rectangle of fabric for the interior of the bag, which is also 12 by 22 inches. The fabric I'm using right now is non-directional. This means that no matter which way I turn it, it's not gonna look upside down. If you're using fabric that has words or characters or images that need to be facing a certain direction, you may need to sew two rectangles together instead of using just one complete piece of fabric. For the handles of the bag, you can use strapping or you can use fabric. I'm going to be using fabric for my handles today. I have two rectangles that are 4 by 18 inches for the handles. Let's get started. Start by taking the fabric that you'd like to use for the exterior bag and fold it in half with right sides together. The fold will be the bottom of the bag and these will be the sides. Next, we're gonna draw some guidelines for boxing the corners. If you don't want to box the corners of your bag and you prefer that it remain flat, you can skip this step. Take a ruler and a marking tool and we're gonna mark along the bottom edge. Along the bottom fold, mark a section that is one half inch from the bottom and one inch over. So I'm going to mark one half inch from the bottom and one inch long. I've made a little box in the corner of my bag that's one half by one inch. Repeat on the other side. Use your scissors to trim out this section. You can now see that there are two open corners in the bottom of our bag. We're going to repeat this process for the lining. A quick way to do this is to fold your lining in half right sides together. Lay your main fabric directly on top of it and trim out the corners. Next, we're going to sew the two side seams on the bag using a half an inch seam allowance. And we're going to do the same thing for the lining. Next, press the side seams open on both the main fabric and the lining. Sleeve ironing boards work great for this if you have one. My seams have been pressed open and I'm ready to box the corners. To box the corners, grab the fabric from either side and pull it apart. Place the seam in the center and arrange the fabric so that the seam is in the center and the cutout section is flat. Your fabric will look kind of like a triangle with the tip cut off. Sew along the cut edge with a half an inch seam allowance and do this for all four corners, the two on the main fabric and the two on the lining. It may be helpful to use a pin or two to hold this fabric in place. Trim the seam allowance at the corner to a quarter of an inch. Take care not to get too close to your stitches. Let's work on the straps. If you're using webbing or strapping for the handles, go ahead and cut two 18 to 20 inch pieces of strapping. 
if you're using fabric like I am, take your fabric to the ironing board and fold it in half lengthwise with the wrong sides touching and press. Open up your fabric, take one raw edge, fold it to where it's almost touching the center, and press again, keeping your original fold in place. Do the same along the other edge. Then fold the strip in half, and press one last time. Repeat this process for the other strap. When sewing your strap, you only really need to sew the edges that are open. However, I really like the look of stitching on both sides. So I'm gonna stitch along one edge and the other edge with about an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And I'm gonna repeat this process for the other strap. When you're finished sewing the handles, give them one more press. This will help set the stitches, remove any wrinkles, and give a more professional look to your bag. When you're ready to add the straps, grab the fabric that's gonna be the outside of the bag and turn it right side out. Take a ruler and mark two inches from the seam along the top edge. So here's the top edge of my bag. I'm going to mark two inches from the seam. Do the same on the other side. Take one of your straps and lay it so that the raw edge is touching the raw edge on the top of the bag and is aligned with your mark on the side. And pin in place. Make sure it's pinned to just one layer of the bag. Do the same on the other side with the other end of the strap. Take care to make sure the strap isn't twisted. And repeat on the other side. The handles are now pinned to both sides of my bag. To sew them in place, stitch along the top edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. When you sew the straps in place, make sure the other fabric is out of the way. Now let's put our bag together. Have your main fabric right side out and your lining wrong side out. Place the main bag inside the lining. Align the top edge. The right sides of the fabric should be touching. Align the side seams and pin in place all the way around the top. Now that the top edge is all pinned together, I'm ready to sew. I'm gonna stitch all the way around the top edge. However, I do need to leave an opening to turn. Um, I want to make sure that where I turn is not where the handles are. So I'm gonna go on the side that's gonna be the back in between the two handles. And I'm gonna use double pins to mark it. So I'm gonna leave myself about a three inch opening. So I'm gonna leave this section in the back open. So I'm gonna start here, stitch around, and stop here. And I'm gonna sew around using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. I 
I've sewn all the way around the top and one thing that I find helps me when I want to turn the bag is to press the seam first. So before I turn my bag, I'm going to press this seam open. I'm just gonna take the main fabric and turn it towards the wrong side at the stitches and I'm just gonna press along this edge. If you've used strapping for your handles, take care not to melt the straps. This step is optional. Now turn the bag right side out through your opening. Tuck the lining inside the bag and make sure the top edge is fully turned. You want the stitches to be all the way at the top and you don't want any fabric tucked in. Press along the top edge and again, if you've used strapping, take care not to melt your straps. Make sure the fabric at your opening appears as if it's been sewn. To finish off the back, I'm gonna to top stitch all the way around the top edge with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Make sure that the fabric at your opening stays together to give it a nice finish. I'm gonna be sewing the top edge of my bag with a stitch length of 3.5 and a seam allowance of 1 8 You can also use a decorative stitch for this if you like. I do recommend testing them first as they can often be really difficult to unpick if you have to. Press the top edge one last time. And our tote bag's now finished.